He's the businessman who presided over the death of a British institution. Dominic Chappelle was today accused of having his fingers in the till at BHS when he was its owner. Before questioning by MPs, his former execs lined up to condemn him. Select committees rarely hear evidence like this. He basically said, um, do not kick off about this, Darren. I've had enough of you telling me what to do over the last few months. It's my business. I can do what I want. And if you kick off about it, I'm going to come down there and kill you. Then he threatened to kill me again. He says he was in the helicopter squad of the SAS. I know he's got a gun. There was a little bit of me that thought, and I said to him, you, you threaten me that again, Dominic, and I'll call the police. Mr Chappelle bought BHS for £1 last year, promising he could turn around the company. Promises which completely unravelled, says this executive. I think I was duped. I think the technical term is a mythomaniac. The layperson's term is he was a Premier League liar and a Sunday pub league retailer, at best. Then came Mr Chappelle's turn to face MPs. He poured scorn on Sir Philip Green, from whom he bought BHS last year. Sir Philip, who remained a creditor of the store, could have done more to save it, he claimed. We didn't buy it, he would have liquidated that company for sure. I think our company was um, savable. I think if Philip had assisted us, we could have, um, we could have saved BHS. We were in the throes of beginning the turnaround, the turnaround proper after a very successful property CVA and we are moving forward. There was even confusion about who owns the BHS headquarters here in central London. Four executives from Mr Chappelle's company said they didn't know. They claimed Sir Philip Green promised to sell it to them but then didn't. Mr Chappelle, in his words, said he fought tooth and nail to save BHS. But not even an 11th hour campaign could save 11,000 jobs. As the soap opera played out in the BHS boardroom, one analyst says staff on the shop floor were neglected. The very sad aspect, the people who were never mentioned were the workers who are now out with their reduced pension. Um, completely innocent people who kept the business ticking over. Sir Philip will now face MPs as the store he once owned sees out its final days. Julian Drucker, 5 News.